Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronis Watanatu and this tutorial or in this video I'll be showing you my brand new set of actions that are going to help you edit faster with just a single click. So if I truly have been having issues or many photos to edit and you have found that stressful, simply check this video and see how amazing these actions are going to be working on your images and purchase the actions as we follow along. Simply check the links in the description of this video to purchase these eight photoshop actions and these are going to be automated for your skin retouching and i just want to demonstrate that to you so right now i've opened, opened up photoshop so the very first thing you have to do is importing the actions into photoshop simply come right here to window and simply come and make sure you have selected actions and it's going to open up the actions window right there so in order, in order to open up these actions simply come to this these lines and simply come and select load actions so always make sure you have already unzipped the actions and after unzipping them simply click on the actions to load them into photoshop and alternatively you can simply double click on the action and it's going to open up or load into the actions panel so this is the photo that we're going to be dealing with first of all so you can see these are the actions after you have been able to import them so you have the Ronix automated retouching action extreme auto so this is for extreme blemishes then the medium is for medium photos then the close-up for close-ups then this is for the full photos and we have extra actions that is the auto pop wh whitening eyes and teeth and also the uniformity action for gradient maps so we are just going to come and for this this is more of a close-up photo I'll simply come click on the action and hit the play button so the action is going to play and just like that it has already finished playing and the good thing about this action is going to automatically select for you the brush tool in photoshop and all you have to do is simply coming increasing on the size and simply paint using a white brush so just come and simply paint and by just doing that you can see that it is retouching the image while keeping and retaining the original skin textures or skin details so just take your time as you're trying to paint but you have to be careful when it comes to the edges of the photo that you're trying to edit or the outline so by just doing that you can see what you have been able to achieve so you can see that this edge has been tampered with so just switch the brush back to black and you can correct that by painting using a black brush so let's see the before and after for just doing this so this is the image before after before after and with just or within just a few seconds we have been able to retouch this image while retaining the original and natural skin textures so we can now come you can as well apply apply rather a pop to the image by just selecting that and making the image pop so that's the before after before after then if i totally want to whiten the teeth you can simply select the teeth whitening action and simply play it and by just doing that you can increase or zoom into the image and you can just come and paint using a white brush to whiten the teeth to your liking and within less than a minute i have been able to edit or retouch this image so let's say before and after for just doing this so this is the before after before after so let's look at a different image so this is the image that we want to work on so i'll simply come and crop in the image so i'll just get the crop tool and just crop in this outdoor image and by the way if i told you want to purchase this simply check the links in the video description so for this it is basically the same thing that we're going to be doing so i prefer to use this medium one for this kind of image because this is a medium shot so it is going to play and after playing or loading it is going to automatically select the brush for me and all i have to do is simply zooming in slightly and doing the painting using a white brush just paint on the image just like that so if i told you have so many photos to work on or to retouch 
this action is going to help you uh, with that so just paint on the skin by just using the brush and if at all anyone doesn't know even how to use photoshop they could as well find this really useful and helpful if at all they don't want to do advanced retouching so this is the before after before after you can see that we have kept or maintained the original skin textures in this very image and if at all you have overdone a given area make sure that you correct that by switching to black and coming and reducing on the floor and you can erase the effect if it is too much in a given area to retain or to bring back those informations or the highlights so you can as well play the eyes and teeth and simply by just playing the action reduce on the side by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and can just go straight into painting on the eyes and the teeth just like that and if at all the effect is too much you can come and reduce on the opacity either of your retouching or the iron teeth whitening so we're just going to see another image so this is more of a medium shot so i'll just come the actions right here and play my medium Ronix or it is the rara medium action so i'll just come and play it and it's going to apply the effect over and what will be left for me is simply coming and painting over uh, this very model skin so let me just wait for it to load so depending on how powerful your pc is uh, the speed is going to be determined by the speed of your computer so i'm just painting using a white brush so just by just doing that you can see how this is going to be very nice and effective so make sure you are careful when it comes to the edges if at all you want the best results so i'll just come and paint on the skin just like that so i'll just reduce on the size and stay within the boundaries and this is done before after but as usual always make sure you remove the blemishes and if at all you want to intensify on the effect you can as well come and press ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard to double the effect or the intensity of the retouching but as usual that may be a little bit too much for your liking so after creating a double effect of the retouching after painting on the skin you can always come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking so if i told you a wedding photographer and you have all those numerous photos to edit these actions are going to be helpful for you so let's just try with a complex image like this so for this i'll just come and play the extreme auto and by the way you can as well change the results or the effects of this action so let me just first of all demonstrate for you so i've played my extreme action and i'll just come and just paint on the skin so you can see the effect or what this is creating on the model skin so reduce on the size and come and paint on majority of the areas that have pimples and the blemishes so for the edges you always have to be careful when it comes to the edges so this is what it has just created within that short period of time so like i said always first of all remove the blemishes and just go ahead and play the action if i told the blemishes a little bit too much so this is the before after before after just a few seconds you have been able to get such an amazing result in photoshop so these are the actions and if at all you'd love to purchase these actions there are around eight actions so if at all would love to purchase this automatic retouching actions to speed up your retouching process in photoshop simply check in the description of this video and you'll get a link to purchase or buy these amazing actions so this is it for this video don't forget to support me because these actions are going to help you edit more images
faster, quicker and better and will have to deliver faster. You know what that means? It means that you're going to be financially benefiting as a photographer. So this is it for this video. Don't forget to check the links in the description of this video. Keep practicing and also keep creating.